gentlemen, welcome to CanCast episode number 615. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who can't wait to document his Peloton journey to his wife, Wombat. I can't wait to document my wife to my Peloton journey. What? Huh? That's not a response. You're just jumbling up the words that I said. Yeah, I know. That was my response. That's how you know I need a Peloton. I can't even speak straight. That doesn't make any sense either because it doesn't improve your speaking at all. It's for Sure it does. It's It improves your motor skills, which improves your speaking. I guess that commercial was really bad if you don't understand the basic function of the Peloton. It's to help you with your speech patterns. <laughs> Smack you in the face with a pelican. That'll fix <laughs> your a, speech pattern. With a pelican? <laughs> Peloton. With a pelican? I'll, I'll do Peloton? both if it'll help. <laughs> Hi, Shipwreck. Save me from this again, please. <laughs> by the way. Get on your bike and run away. By the way, special wombat intro written oh. by a listener. Huh. Oh, I don't know what it is, but I, I'm excited. I loved it. I loved it. You, ship, uh, Shipwreck loved it. You want to guess who it was? Somebody you know. I know or you know? Both. Uh, a listener. You know a I listener. Know? A listener. A good, a, you know, a well-known keg and listener. Uh, was it Steve? <laughs> I don't know what Shipwreck said, but Wombat said Chanifan, and he was correct. Oh, yeah. he was. I said Steve. Steve. <laughs> Steve Chanifan. That's his name. So it's we not. were both right. No. It's his name. Steve Chanifan. Everyone knows that. Adam. Yeah, whatever. That's what he told you. Okay. Anyway. Adam and yes. Steve. By the way, I don't know Steve. that I've ever used one that somebody else wrote before. Uh, I Yes, you have. Oh. At least once. That you wrote? No. Oh. But we used to get we used to get submissions. Oh. For the Those, that's a good idea, by the way. I know it is a good idea, but we used to get them, yes. That was a thing. We should get submissions. Yeah, people send us your theme songs. What? I can break out. I still have the MP3 files for the uh, CAG 4 play bumpers, if we'd like some bumpers. <laughs> do we need some like s- no. segment intros? No. I, I do like a good bumper. Mm, bumper. <laughs> I'll uh, send them to you, Cheapy. You sure. Them. Why not? For the museum. Mm-hmm. Uh, how was everybody's Thanksgiving? It was nice. Oh, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> that got downgraded that was, so quickly. I know. <laughs> you know, here's the problem with my Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving day was actually very nice. It was a very nice Thanksgiving day. By the by Friday, both my wife and son were sick with like the devil's cold. Mm. And they did not move again until Monday. Like, they were both down for the count for three days. So you must have played a lot of video games. There was, you know, I actually, there was some good movie time in because it wasn't, because they would, like, want to sit on the couch and watch movies. And what was I going to do? Say, no, get out. Right. You know, so there was there So was you that. were forced to be sitting there for three days. Well. I w- well, on Saturday, uh, Sabrina and I went to my aunt's house up in Westchester, just the two of us, which was actually kind of nice because I don't think I've, I can't remember the last time because it's like an hour and a half drive. And I can't remember the last time my daughter and I were alone for an hour and a half with no distractions. So, you know, that was kind of nice. So, you know, some bonding, some bonding time. I hope the driving well, was a little bit of a distraction. No. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And uh, that drive is so How exhausting. many classic rock songs did you have her listen to on the way? Oh, so many. So she many. She loved it. She loved every second of it. She was like, why? I, I wish put I could on... watch documentaries about these bands, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, please, just put on Hits 1. Can you, just for like one song, Hits 1. I'm like, no, no, it's the 80s on 8 Top 40 Countdown from 1983. Right. You are screwed. I so, gotta know what's number one. Yep, I have to know what was number one in 1983 this week. So the original VJ, Sabrina, don't you understand? Right. She sounds good still. <laughs> Nina Blackwood, she does. Oh, that I, I was thinking. No, no, she sounds uh, like she needs her voice box removed. That, downtown Julie Brown's still sounds good. That's nineties on nine. Come on. Get oh, it straight. sorry. Yeah. Get it straight. This is Nina Blackwood. You listen to the right. funny dead songs from yeah. nineteen eighty three. Ty Ty says, What's wrong with her voice? <laughs> and I said, that's what it sounds like if you smoke too many cigarettes mm-hmm. and drink too much. Yep. 
if you, you know, lived in the 80s. That's right. what you sound like. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice. Thanks for asking. Good. <laughs> But and the turkey was, was good. That part was good. The actual Thanksgiving yeah. was good. I didn't ask about Friday. I asked about I, Thanksgiving. Well, I know, and I said it was good. And how was yours, sir? Nobody got sick. Okay. Except the dog. My cousin's dog got something in oh. his eye and was <laughs> was, I was unhappy like, for Thanksgiving. I was like, you don't have a dog. I'm so confused. I know. I know. That's good. a good thing. It but I, good I, thing. I have encounters with dogs at other people's homes. Or, or again... Uh, Shima's friend came over and brought her family and their their Lassie dog. Uh, Collie. Yes, but the dog's name is Lassie, so I can say Lassie dog. Gotcha. Um, that's a very well-behaved dog. It doesn't bark. Compared to my cousin's bulldog, who just goes right for your groin as soon as you sit yeah. down at a table. It's just groin, right to your groin. Everybody's yep. groin at the table. It just basically goes around the table underneath. And gets everybody's groin. Yeah, my father had a collie growing up. They still talk about that stupid dog. But a, I guess they're good dogs. Cause it's the best dog, they say. But afraid to climb up our stairs. Because mm. they have like the open back. Mm-hmm. I was afraid of that too when I was like a child. But So you're saying I can bring my dog to your house? Um, <laughs> I don't know that I'm saying that. <laughs> Mrs. I, would, I, all these I, wouldn't, I wouldn't bring my dog to your house. Right. They were sleeping over, so they yeah. you know, they didn't have a choice. I still wouldn't bring my dog to your house. Good, thank you. I'd find alter alternate uh options. I would like you to meet my dog. I would like I would to meet your, your dog. dog. Bring your dog to the ping pong place. I don't think that's acceptable either. I could meet the dog outside. They have like a pet. You could right stop there. by my house after the ping pong place and drive the extra three minutes. That would be a good idea. I'd be yeah. nice and moist in my pants area. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You could use my bathroom if you needed to use a bathroom. Well, what would I do in there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Go, you said your pants are moist. Like use your towel to, to dry my groin? Yeah. Take a shower? Uh -huh. Just take a shower. Come to the Wombat's house take a shower. <laughs> Come to my house, take a shower, post ping pong shower. Right. No, I don't do mm -hmm. that. But, you know, I've been getting like this, um, like, uh, I don't know, like chest, like I have pimples on my chest. And from, I think it's from going to the gym and sweating like just an incredible amount. And what I would, instead of just going home and taking a shower immediately, I would eat a sandwich first. But I don't know if that was the cause. But in a related uh, note, Mrs. Chibi was dropping little hints to me that maybe I should shave my chest. So. I sort of thought maybe I could kill How did those two... hints go? What's that? How do you get that little hint? It's kind of like in the Peloton commercial when the guy doesn't want to tell his wife that she's fat, so she buys him an exercise bike. <laughs> but she wasn't fat. I know. That's what makes it misogynistic. Well, first of all, I have a, I have a lot of chest hair, or rather I had a lot of chest hair. Yes. And so she, no, she would straight up say like, oh, I think it would look good if you... If you shave your chest, like it wasn't that's not, that's not dropping hints. That's just telling you. It's just right. telling you what you need to do. Right. Exactly. So she said it after you like, said it. You, I like that's that's a t telling you a hint. You're like the worst. You'd be the worst detective. No, but I picked up on it. <laughs> I'm I the murderer. I think he's the murderer. He's giving me a hint. No, no, no. I found the murderer. It just took a little longer. Maybe I didn't find the murderer right then and there. It just maybe two or three weeks went by before I found the murderer. Anyway, so then, so I, all right, I guess I got to like do something. So I started like, I didn't know. I I'd assume there must be some product that is the best at this. So I went on YouTube and I just Googled, I don't know, like chest hair removal or something. The Panasonic one, I, I right. believe, is highly recommended. Yeah. So I found this model, this male model, and he did a whole video about, you know, shaving your, <laughs> shaving everything, shaving your whole body. I wasn't interested in that. I was interested. Was it the Jeff Meacham video? Does he have a I beard? No, there was a really funny one. That no, was, it's not it, funny. This is straight oh, okay. up. Okay, no, there was a funny one that was done by a, where the, the I know the actor that's in. No, it. No, no, I wasn't looking for jokes. I was. This is a very serious thing. Like I didn't oh. want to. You know, I'm shaving my chest and my back because my back is also hairy, and I decided might as well do that too. So this guy recommended, I guess, some Panasonic one, uh, and like the man groomer back trimmer, which is like a I fucking, am familiar with that one through work. It's like a it's. 
it's like a two by f- it's like two two by fours bolted together with a razor on the end. Except not two by fours because those are too big. But yeah, something you know big. you get the idea. What's that noise? Oh, that's that's me forgetting to unplug the alarm when one of my kids leaves the room. <laughs> you get an, you get an alarm. I need that actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, it, you just put little uh, like reed switches on their doors, and then it, there's another little thing that you plug in elsewhere in your house. And whenever they their door opens, you get a little little song. Yeah, I need that because Ty is like trying to like find iPads and shit. I can tell you, it, be, just you wait because my nephew is uh, sixteen or so now, right? Maybe younger, fifteen, right? And he has a lady friend. Uh huh. And she's been sneaking into that house when everyone goes to sleep. <laughs> That's awesome. So wow. my brother is like, he over the holiday weekend, he basically turned his house into like uh, <laughs> the Big Brother house with cameras everywhere. <laughs> oh, he can be arrested for child porn. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so. so I watch this guy's video, and I'm thinking, I don't know, this guy looks really like too good looking, and he probably doesn't have that much chest hair to begin with. I don't know that I can really trust him. But then he says in the video, like, trust me, I have a lot. Of, I had a lot of chest hair. Like, I'm not some like, you know, fair haired guy. Like, it was a lot. So I I shaved my whole chest down with this Panasonic thing, and it was pretty good. It did a good job, like pretty quickly, because I have a lot of surface area. But like. It grows back so quickly, and I, I it got all rashy, and now uh-huh. I – How's the itching? The it's- itchy part, it's only when like I rub against something. Uh-huh. You ever – you've seen uh, The Fly with Jeff Goldblum? I have. You know, like he's pretty hairless, but when he starts his ha- fly transformation, those hairs that come through, like they're, yep. they're sharp and thick. Mm-hmm. Yep, and so you have to immediately shave those back down. No, I can't, because then my <laughs> whole chest is gonna just melt. I think into just like pus, and I don't know. I don't, I have I I stole some of Mrs. Cheapy's like fancy uh, moisturizer that said it was good for good, this. Good luck with that. Mm-hmm. It's too much hair was the problem. It's just gonna come back stronger. I <sighs> but. I Enjoy do... your 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 chest hair. No, it, I I think I need to get like electrolysis. Or, I need to do something now. Just let it grow back and never mention it again. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> yeah, but Mrs. Chibi liked it though. I'm sure she did. Now she doesn't like it because it's like brindle fly. Yeah, but... now it's razor blades. Mm-hmm. Right. Now... <laughs> I say let it grow back and see how it is, and if it's worse, then you got to go with electrolysis. Right. And as far as the back is concerned. I can't see it, so I don't really know, but it doesn't feel... I think that hair was lighter. Didn't feel like it could cut through paper. So I don't know, but I could do that. They have like a laser one, don't they? Like laser hair removal? And can I get that on my face also? Because I'm tired of shaving my face as well. Sure. I get lasers wherever you want lasers. (laughs) No, I don't want them attached to my face. I just want them to shoot the hair off. (laughs) Taser face. face. Because that's annoying, shaving. Like, if I know I'm not going to have at least, like, the neck part. Can't they do the neck part? You can mm. ask them. Somebody I don't know if Harry's has come out with a laser yet that does that. Yeah. Harry's lasers. All right. Hazers. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we'll hear back from some of our listeners who have solved this problem for us. I'm sure they have not. Right. It's bad. Mm. It's poking mm-hmm. through my shirt right now. It's uh-huh. going to look really weird. Have you been here before, Shipper? I sound like you. Yes, experience. I've been there before. Oh, because of like your track and field days? Uh, no, just because the same the same type thing you're going through. But, but you're a redhead. You don't. They, you can't even see that hair. It's like invisible. No? Uh, it's it's still. I well, I bet. Have you ever done this before? Have I ever shaved my chest? I have you, not shaved my chest. Oh, no. okay. I had never All done right. it before. Okay, I I have done it before. It's not good. No, I would have no interest in shaving. I'm very proud of my chest hair. I like it. I'm not getting rid of it. It's not just the pro- the problem. Is not just the chest hair. It's problem. The hair is like goes everywhere. You know, like if it was just on the chest, I think it would be okay. Mm-hmm. But it's the whole torso. How's that? How's that belly feeling right now? That's the see. You know, ship knows. <laughs> I do know. I'm gonna just. I, I think I, I need don't to. Really have belly hair. 
So yeah, I don't really. See, I don't really. That's where that. all my prime chest hair is at. In the belly area. In the belly area. Huh. That's not really chest hair, though. That's what I'm counting. <laughs> Yeah, they, that, that's yeah. It's all actually. It's all an equal problem. Big problem for me. Just mm, put belly mm. on the chest there. Oh man, it's, it's not good. And but the good thing is though, now when I take a shower and if the lighting is just right, because I don't have any of the hair in the way, and because I've been going to Orange Theory a lot, I can if I stand at just the right angle, I can see the outline of abs. That's impressive. But it's like shadow. You know, you know what? what? It's more than I got, so I can't say a word. Right. But also all the rash around it. Well, you know, give it <laughs> time. All the ingrown hairs and rash. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. I think I used like $10 worth of Mrs. Cheapy's Keels cream, whatever. I don't know how much that shit cost, but I know it's not cheap. Uh, yeah, it's not a good situation. Anyway, let's stop thinking about it because I'm just going to start rubbing my belly. Could you? This is like a bad time of year to do this too, because your your skin is already dry. Well, I'm just going to be moisturizing a lot now. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a lot of moisturizing, like twice a day at least. 